Hello, everybody. I am back. And today I'm going to be playing a deck that is kind of, well, it's returned, let's say. And that is Tool Drop. Yep, Tool Drop. So the idea behind Tool Drop is really simple. Use the Trubbish from Plasma Storm, not Garbodor, Trubbish. And it's got the attack Tool Drop, which does 20 damage times the amount of Pokemon tools. Hey, nice of you to show up. That you have in play. So then you just kind of start hammering on things. Because you've there's this beautiful Sigilyph, which has... Where's a Floatstone? Floatstone. Or let's not grab the ability toolbox so you can put up to four Pokemon tools onto it. So let's see here. Floatstone, Assault Vest, Life Dew, Experience Share, Muscle Band, and then you've also got this Masquerain from Plasma Blast which has the ability tool reversals so you can just pull t Pokemon tool cards back into your hand and rearrange them. Now, this deck has, has not been viable in a very, very long time for a few reasons. Well, two of them, there's three reasons. Two of them aren't really much of a big problem anymore. But, hey. So, the first reason is Startling Megaphone. Well, pretty much not played does exist, and, oh hey, Tool Scrapper, what's being discarded? The second one is, well, this is incredibly outdated, Tool Drop kind of went extinct because it couldn't handle Pyroar. And the third one, and probably the biggest one at this time, is Seismotody X. And I'm going to chorus for one, and it's a muscle band. Seismotody X kind of ruins any chance of a tool drop deck actually doing well at any tournament ever. So yeah, this deck has kind of been relegated to the sidelines. But let's see how it does. Don't get another tool scrapper, please. Anyways... My start is particularly abysmal. I'm in complete top deck mode, which never seems to work out for me. Actually, wait, I'm not going to attach this assault vest. Because I do want the ability to put a float stone on it if I manage to top deck one. Regardless. This deck can do a lot of damage really quickly, but it's really frail. You need to set up a Travis almost every turn. And yeah, it just kind of has issues that pretty much means it can't compete. So my opponent's playing Evil Tolly X, that much is clear. But it doesn't look like they've had such a hot start either. So I just kind of sit here and wait to see what my opponent does. If my opponent drops a Seismitoad, it's kind of over. Which is a huge issue because Seismitoad just shuts off all my tools. Oh no, oh, Hammer, Tool Scrapper, not good, not good, not good, not good. Experience Share, Muscle Band, not good. Mayday, tools going down. Propagate, Ultra Ball. I've lost this and it's barely started. Okay, they get a Sableye. Alright, Sigilyph, how incredibly not helpful. Sigilyph, Assault Vest, Pass, and I've just got no hand and I'm doing nothing, going nowhere fast. Or nowhere at all. Versus Seeker. That works. I can finally get a Colrus. Floatstone. Psychic Energy. Trubbish. 
Now I guess I just have to retreat into this Trevish and pass. What my opponent's probably going to try and do is keep junk hunting for the various tool scrappers and keep getting rid of my tools to lower my damage output over and over. And okay, I've got Dimension Valley and Experience Share and some more tools. So I can try to go somewhere now. Perfect. All right, attach experience share onto the bench trubbish, dimension valley, silver bangle, active trubbish, put a hard charm on the damage sigil of N, get more tools, head ringer and evil tally X, put two experience shares onto a sigil of level ball to get Surskit's not here, so get another Trubbish, I guess. And now I can tool drop 250 damage with the Silver Bangle. And now what does my opponent do now that I've gotten a good start? They don't have energy in place, so they can't really attack with Evil Tall or Sableye. I did draw Surskit out of the prizes, so I can bench Surskit. Oh, Dark Patch to Sableye. If they get Dark Cry and Sableye, they can Junk Hunt for Tool Scrappers, and then I need to play N. Nope, they attach to Sableye. And they end me anyways. So now all of a sudden, well, <laughs> this just kind of went up downhill. If they ever do get those sable eyes going, then I lose four tools a turn, and I can't really keep up with that. So I need to top deck some sort of draw supporter. A level ball. Not exactly what I had in mind, so. One thing I could do, I'm going to grab Surskit off of this level ball, play the Elisa. Get Silver Bangle, Rocky Helmet, and Assault Vest. So I'm going to try and pull as... What I'm going to do after I put these tools into play is I'm going to try and keep as many tools in my hand as possible. So... Yep, tool drop. How much damage? 310 damage, let's go. So by keeping as many tools in my hand as possible, I get less hurt by a tool scrapper. My opponent decides to send up the Sableye without energy, which is kind of confusing. Team Flare Grunt, there goes this energy. So now I need to find another energy, and yeah, just another energy off of this Juniper, so that I can rearrange tools to float stone this Trubbish into the other Trubbish here. And yeah, pretty much just rearrange tools as I please. And just a pass. So Juniper, there's the energy. Tool reversal, get the float stone. Tool reversal. Pick up the silver bangle. Retreat. And now I need four tools in play, so I'm going to tool reversal, pick up all the tools off of everything except one of the sigilifs. So that in the event that I do get tool scrappered, like double tool scrappered by a junk hunt, I get to keep enough tools to where I can still take knockouts quite comfortably. So yeah, now I just tool drop 80 or 100 damage. Oh yeah, there's a tool on this evil tally X, my bad. Knowing that I probably could have returned another tool. 
and they're actually forced to confuse Ray. <laughs> Dire situation. So now I can drop the float stone on this trubbish. Hmm. Since they confuse Ray, I'm just going to play down as many tools as possible. There, now I've got a lot of tools in play. Did I attach this turn? No. Yeah, I did. And my opponent surrenders. So the threat of the tool drop was actually too much for my opponent this game. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time, where I will be facing off... Well, I won't be facing off, but I will be playing Vespa Queen Flareon.